This is Jess from livinggirllivingfoods.com. I just wanted to share a green chocolate banana smoothie recipe I came up with the other day. So right now in the blender, I have three cups of spinach and about two ounces of filtered water. For one hour, I had these sacha seeds soaking just to soften them up so it's a little easier on my blender. Um, these seeds are really high in omega-3, 6, they're high in iron, and they also have lots of fiber. They have a slight peanut taste, and they also remind me of this bean I would have a lot at Portuguese festivals that I can't remember the name of it. The little yellow bean that actually had a very similar shape to this. So this is what the seeds look like. And I soaked 25 of them. And why I did that was so I could try to make some sort of butter to put in here. Um, try to kind of stay away from using a lot of nuts and instead I use a lot of sesame seeds and, and these seeds too. So I'm just going to toss them right in there. I have half of a frozen banana right here already chopped up. I'm going to throw that in there too. Alright, that's already getting mushy. It's kind of gross. <laughs> um, I have one small kiwi that I'm going to add in here. If you wanted, you could do pear instead. I just like to add a little extra fruit into this. Some people don't like the seeds in kiwi in their smoothie, so maybe pear would be a better choice for you. Um, for the chocolate, you have a couple of different options if you wanted. Um, I do have this raw carob powder that's pretty good. This also has a very nutty taste to it. And then I just have raw cacao right here, which this was completely full at one point. Um, I'm probably going to use one tablespoon of the cacao and just one teaspoon of the caro. And if you wanted, you could do more chocolate than this. I just don't personally need too much chocolate. Get wired off of it pretty easily. So I'm just going to add a teaspoon of the carob. And I've never really been too crazy about carob, but with nuts and certain desserts, it actually tastes really great. I'm not saying you have to buy a big bag like this because then you're going to be stuck with it. It's a commitment. We should definitely try it out sometime if you haven't before. Uh, also going to add one teaspoon of chia seed oil. Some more omegas. Woo! I dripped some. I'm going to put a little more. Okay. There we go. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of aloe. This is the one I have. It says it's always active. I hope so. I could use it. Bums away! Alright, there we go. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of spirulina powder. And at least for the type of spirulina I use, that's what they say is one serving size. If you haven't used spirulina before, it kind of has a, a fishy smell to it. Don't be alarmed, that's normal. Um, it's really great for your energy, metabolism, eyes, brain. Um, it's pretty freaking awesome. So I'd recommend trying it out. Maybe see if at your local health food store, they can give you a little sample of it, see if it's for you first. If you like your smoothies really, really thick, I'd recommend also putting a little coconut butter in there. I'm just gonna use my knife and put the littlest slither, because I don't really think, at least for me, I don't really need a lot of that in there. Um. All right, I'm ready to cap it up, get it going. And I have a smoothie button 
on my blender, so I'm just going to hit that real quick. It's going to get a little bit loud. Is a shame. Easily fixable. It's gonna take one of my spoons, kind of just shove everything back down. So then when I pour it out, still get everything in there. So this is what I'm working with. Kind of looks like a mousse almost. And I'm just going to try a little bit first, see if it has enough chocolate and everything for my taste. Okay. That's perfect. Can't really taste the seeds too much in here. Can't really taste the spirulina either. Um, really just taste the banana. There's not too many kiwi seeds in here, which is great. And I really just want to chow down on this now. So, <laughs> thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to post the recipe right below this video and give you as much info as I know about all the health benefits of the items in this smoothie. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.